Hey guys. So, I remember the first time I was able to mess around on an Android phone, nothing really jumped off the page for me because I already had an iPhone, but the one thing that was really, really cool that got me really jealous was the Android lock. I looked at my phone and I'm like, that's stupid, why do I have to type in numbers when I can just swipe it like the Android? And I thought to myself, either I'm going to do it or someone in Apple or some developer needs to make this for the iPhone because it's so awesome. Well, a developer in the jailbreak community fixed that problem and released a tweak called Android Lock XT. Hence the name, if I go to my lock screen, instead of the typical number screen, I can use the Android screen instead. There are a few settings that you can change that change the behavior and how it's, the Android lock is displayed and stuff. So if you just go to settings, scroll down until you find Android lock XT and tap on that. And then in here is all the settings for Android lock XT. The enable button just turns Android lock on and off. Under change pattern, if you want to change your pattern to something different than what you already have, or if you first download the tweak and then this is the first time you're using it, you would go here to set your pattern. If you already have an old pattern, it's going to ask you to draw your old pattern and then after that you need to draw your new pattern twice and then the new password is set. Under change appearance and under minimize, you can change what the Android lock does or how you activate it. So if you choose no, then it will just show up immediately as you turn on your screen or if you go to your lock screen. Tap to open will show a bar that says tap to open and then you just tap on that to show Android lock. And then slide to open is default, so you slide the slide to open bar and then it shows up. So I usually use that. Under text strings, you can change what the unlock words say so at this point it's just default slide to unlock but if I were to change it to let's say ha 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 not sure why but if I did what would happen is if I go to my lock screen and turn it back on then instead of it saying slide to unlock it says ha 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 however I do like default so I'm gonna go change that back to default alright under theme I have it under Android Lock HQ for me, but there are a couple other themes that you can use to change what your Android lock screen looks like. So for example, if I were to choose Pac-Man, instead of the circles that you saw earlier, it would show an actual Pac-Man screen, then you have to draw the, the pattern. So as you see the Pac-Man screen, and then I draw my, pa whoop, draw my pattern, and now it's unlocked again. However, I definitely prefer the regular one. Under behavior and max attempts, max attempts just sets how many times you can mess up on your Android lock pattern. I usually set it to disabled because I don't see a reason to have any kind of penalty if you accidentally swipe it too many times. Under pattern required, you can choose between a minute, five minutes, 15 minutes, hour, four hours, or immediately. And that just sets when the screen comes up or the Android lock screen comes up when you swipe, tap, whatever you have set to. Usually I set it to immediately because if I need to get my phone right away then I need it to be immediately. Under logging, you can enable logging and then the view log will show you how many times you mistyped your pattern or you can see what other patterns were typed so you can check to see if anyone's trying to mess on your phone but doesn't know the pattern. So the big issue is what happens if you forget your pattern on your Android lock. I'm not sure exactly how to do this on the iPod at this point, but I will get back to you on this. However, for the iPhone, if you can't remember your pattern, all you got to do is call yourself from a different phone, answer it, and then multitask. You're like put on speakerphone so you can go do other apps and then just go to Cydia and uninstall Android Lock XT and then when you go to install it again you can it just everything's reset so you can set your pattern again so a word of warning 
just be really careful what you set your Android lock to and always remember it because it is kind of a pain to redo it or whatever. This tweak is available on Cydia for $1.49 and it's totally awesome, much better than the typical numbers that at least I'm used to or the iPhone and iPod Touch people are used to. So if you're into this kind of thing, I recommend that you get it. All right, see you guys.